You're watching a video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at using video transitions in Filmora 9. A transition is anything being shown in between two clips in your timeline. In Filmora 9, this is what a default transition looks like. As you can see, there's just a simple cut in between the two clips. Transitions are a fantastic way to help your video run smoothly for your audience, while also giving them a sense of when a clip or a scene is changing. For the most part, you use transitions to avoid taking your audience out of the story by them possibly noticing a bad transition between clips or scenes. Here's an example of how transitions can be used to spice up a dance video. Let's start by identifying the cuts that we want to add transitions to. There's also many times that you might want to fade your video in or out to have a nice smooth start and finish that ends the same way. A fade is the most popular way to start or end your video. Let's learn how to do this fade in before we use the other transitions since it's very simple. To do this, let's click Transitions and find the Fade Transition. We can do this by visiting the search bar at the top right corner of the window and typing Fade. Then you can drag the transition to the start of your video just like this. Then do the same to the end. Now. By double-clicking on that transition, we can edit some details. The duration of the fade can be chosen here, and this button can apply that duration to all of the transitions in your video. This way, when I change the duration to 20 frames and click this button, it will change my clip at the end as well. Transition mode is based on where your clip is placed. An overlap is a transition occurring over the end of one clip and the start of another. A prefix will have the transition occurring before the cut, and a postfix will play the transition after the cut. Now let's add some creative transitions. Going back to the transition window, we can find the warp category. Let's try using shift zoom one for this part. I'll click and drag the transition in between the two clips. Then I'll watch it back to see if I like the transition. You can always change the position by simply click dragging the transition around. This is a faster way to change between overlap, prefix, and postfix. Let's say you have a video with tons of different clips in it and you don't want to waste time adding a transition to so many clips. Luckily, in Filmora 9, we can do this easily by clicking and dragging this box over the clips you want to be affected to select them. Then, just right-click on the transition you would like added and click Apply to Selected Clips. You can also do this with random transitions. To easily access transitions you use a lot, you can right-click and select to add to Favorite. Then you can access it here in Favorite. And that's it! You now know how to use different kinds of transitions, as well as edit them. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.